Fuego. We are documenting the journey of amazing entrepreneurs, one digital footprint at a time. I have with me my brother from another mother, Louis Picasso. <laughs> Pleasure. <laughs> good, good to see you again. Good to see you. It's always good to see you. It's always good. Better background now? Better background. I, I got to tell this story. I got to really quickly. We did, we did a, we did a um, interview with you, right. and uh, we had an art show. We did it upstairs in the Galleria, right? right. And we didn't really check the background. The, the, the show that we had upstairs in the Galleria right. was a very risque right. show. It was a very avant-garde yeah. artist. And, and, that, and that's putting it mildly. <laughs> that's putting it mildly. Uh, let me tell you my story after follow. I'll follow you with my story about that. And so the background had all these nudes and everything else. So you take the video back with you and like, the people that are watching the video are like they're not they're not listening to you they're not watching you exactly. they're like watching right straight through the exactly, through the news exactly right? exactly <laughs> yeah it was it was an interesting thing so I, I I go back to Houston and I and I'm excited to see this you know and I I, I get the video back and I'm looking at it and I'm looking I'm in my office I'm looking at it and I'm like oh my goodness uh, what's going on here? and then. <laughs> You know, I think the I think the interview process was great, but itself. But again, like you said, my focus is on the wall. On the wall, right? So then, you know, I figured, all right, I'm going to bring my colleagues in and see, oh, take, have them take a look at it. Well, they did the same thing I did. <laughs> the oh my god, and look at the wall, <laughs> right? Which was interesting. But then, then the, at, at the end of the day, they were like, hey, this is a great interview, great photos, great interview though. Yeah, so, but, but but let's kind of focus on you now, yeah, right, yeah, <laughs> not on the yeah, back. <laughs> yeah. So, but, so if you want to see. Actually, if you want to see, we have that interview up. And sure. we, we have it up anyway. So if anybody wants we'll to, put, we'll put it on the blooper section. Then. Exactly. Well, well, anyway, how you doing, man? Fantastic. I'm glad to be here again. Uh, wonderful. Tell us a little bit more about what you're doing now. Well, what I'm doing is is uh, I'm a franchise developer for mm -hmm. a franchise company out of Houston, Texas, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, Link Staffing Services. And what we do is we help the community and the businesses we're a b2b business mm -hmm. so we do we help them in the in the uh, uh distribution uh warehousing manufacturing truck drivers forklift drivers all those businesses that are needing to have those people in place in their businesses we as a company and a staffing company we provide the services for these businesses to come in and say listen we will we will handle your hr business we will handle all the hr that we that you do we'll just we'll bring them on board with you and uh they love our services because one of the things that we do is we specialize in in the safety in this light industrial sector mm -hmm. safety is is the utmost importance so what we do is we provide our our people that we send out to these locations to do the to do the to do the work when they land on that job site they know exactly what the safety procedures and methodologies oh, are okay. for that particular location right so that particular employer does not have to understand have to worry about it they say these guys are providing us with quality uh, people to work in our facilities so you, uh, you also mentioned it in the trucking business as well trucking business so CDL. you have a lot of truckers that go through through your processes truckers CDL uh, truck drivers uh, forklift drivers manufacturers machinists anything and everything in the light industrial and the blue collar sector if you will we provide provide to the businesses out in over over 17 states because we are a franchise organization that's one of the main things that's that's different mm -hmm. uh, there the franchising is is a, is a is an old concept that is starting to get some steam a lot of businesses are starting to focus on their franchising business because one it gives them the opportunity to really expand their business uh, utilizing other people's skills and abilities Sure, and they're sure. able to transfer that particular model to other sectors. Just so scale it. Yeah. It's just a scale. It's, it is a, it's a scalable concept, and that's what we specialize in. I've been in the business for over 15 plus years in franchising. I've franchised all the way anything from taxes, insurance, uh, you know, QSR quality, you know, quick service uh, restaurant business. Um, and, and taking them into the other model and helping them build their, 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 their locations and their positions and their, and their footprint in the, in the market. In the previous interview that we did with you, you talked about your background and everything else. Yeah. So we're not going to talk about that so that we can send people to watch your <laughs> previous interview right, and right. see how terrible we are. But let's focus a little bit more on what you're doing right now because yeah. some of the stuff that you're doing is you're trying to focus on the minority businesses, correct? Correct. On the minority population so that they can be integrated into the type of right. Uh, right. mainstream, if you will, right. of the stuff that you're doing. Right. One of the things is that I'm focusing on is bringing, the, bringing and making aware of the Hispanic community that there is options within their their business a lot of Hispanic community I mean like we're talking I'll tell you a little bit I grew up in East LA yeah. 
and a lot of the businesses that were there, there were mom and pops. There were people that they started a, they wanted to start a, a store or whatever they wanted to start a taqueria, whatever they wanted to do, mm -hmm. they started it. Best taqueria in the world, by the way. Right, and they and they they, they stayed right there. Yeah. Well, there's options to that now. Now, if they wanted to open that taco store, but they wanted to open up in other states, use the franchise model. Utilize that model to help them understand and expand their business and what they do across state lines. And it gives them the opportunity to do that. Um, and I want to be able to educate the Hispanic community. Uh, we we, we, we want to be able to, to put the word out for, the, for veterans, for women, minorities in the, business, to, in the business world, to say, you know, listen, come into the franchise world. This is what we have to offer you. Um, or if they're an existing business, um, Let's take your concept and let's franchise that model. Let's see and take it to the next level. And, and I can see uh, from, from a business point of view, from a risk point of view, going the franchise route is perhaps a little bit less. I mean, it's still risky, just like any kind of no, business yeah. venture. But yeah. if you go the franchise route, somebody else thought about all the infrastructure, all the things that are done for you. Uh, it's already done. So you. you're kind of just walking into a particular concept and making it your own. Exactly, and really the beauty of franchising is you're working from a, an established foundation already. The goal is up here, the objective to everybody is up here, and everybody's going to take t different routes to get there, yeah. but they're all coming from the same foundation, and that's the beauty of franchising. What makes, what makes a franchise successful? I mean, within the same, the same concept, because there, there's got to be franchises that are certainly more successful than other franchises right. within the same industry. Right. Well, one of the things that we pride ourselves in, in the staffing industry and link staffing is we, we've been involved in this business for 30 years. It's family owned, still owned by the same family. Mm -hmm. So this foundation that I'm talking about, franchises, has been developed over 30 years. So all the, all the, the, the leaps and the valleys and the highs and the lows have all been experienced already. So the success is following the model. So so every franchisee that comes into place says, I want to open a staffing agency and this is what I want to do. How am I going to be successful in this? How am I going to make money in this? Sure. And it's easy. Follow the, the, the guidelines, yep. follow that foundation. The blueprint. The blueprint. Yep. And, you're, and, you're, and it's, it's a win-win situation for you. You just got to follow it. Some people would say that or argue that, um, and look, I, I see that there is a cleaning franchise over here, right. but it's going to cost me twenty thousand dollars as a franchise fee to get into that particular business. Where in fact, I'm going to go run down to um, you know Foot City. I'm going to buy me a mop and a bucket and a little pine saw, and I'm in business tomorrow. Right, right. right. That's kind of well, and, that, and, and, ex and exactly because you know one of the things is people can say, listen, I want to do my own thing. Yeah, well, I want to create my own widget. Well, creating that widget, there are so many other components to creating that widget. You know, there's the insurance aspect of it. There's the, per, there's the, 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 everything that is involved in getting a business, it's already there. I know, I know this lady. I just met this lady. Right. Yeah. And she runs this business services that you have to worry nothing about, man. So what you got to do is think about the idea. You give her a call and she runs the business. And, it, and that is a is very that, creative way to do it. Think about it. And it's the same way. way. And it's the same thing. So you have that and you have all that, which is, which is always a, it's, it's always a good thing to have. But the same thing, that same concept. Yeah can also work with the franchise. Sure. Because franchisees at the end of the day, they are, they're self-employed. So of they're course. gonna need all these other services. You know, the foundation is the model to build their business. Plus the Every, power of the marketing. Plus the power of the marketing, sure. and everything else. However, when they're in here, and they're, because we're, we're looking for franchisees in Phoenix. We're looking for one. If you know anybody out there that, that, that's looking for a franchise, call me up, let me know. But um, that, those are business owners and they, they're gonna need accounting people. Yep. We don't supply accounting people. We, you know, we, you know, we, they're, they're gonna need you know, grassroots marketing people who know internally what their market sure, is like sure, internally. Sure. We don't have that. What we have, we have the bigger picture for them to fall right. on. Everything else, they will manage and they will they will control in their area and and they can we you know we if they want to get a services or anything like that to help them do that that's fine except that the model is there for them to follow to be able to reset objective at the end of the day easy it's a no-brainer sign up right sign, sign up, up right, <laughs> right. link staffing link staffing right link franchising.com louis picasso now 
should I call it Louis Picasso Sanchez? Or because you're, not, like, you're like an, an Italian Hispanic. Right, uh, Italian Hispanic. Are, are, are we all? Are we all, right? I don't, I don't know anybody from East LA right, yeah. that his last name is Picasso. I know None. a lot of Sanchez, so I meet I was the odd man out in the barrio. Man. I was the odd man. Nobody really could figure out who I was, what, what, what was I doing there. But they, they just knew that I was a homie there. And so. listen, you got an amazing journey. And for people to learn about that journey, they're going to have to go and watch the, the previous <laughs> interview that we have on Entrepreneurs on Fire right. YouTube channel. Because right. it's really amazing. Right. It's really powerful. Right. Stuff. Very inspirational, right. my brother. Not sure, by the way. Oh, thank you. With that, shop in the same place. <laughs> We're out. <laughs>